This is the third time in a row I've worn stripes into my videos. Are you sensing a pattern? Yes, stripes. <laughs> Goodness. Enough about patterns on my body. I have to talk about something serious today. It's very important to me, and it's important that you guys know about it before you think I'm a weirdo. And I just need someone to vent about it, too. Did that sense make sense? I don't know. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm addicted to Doctor Who. I said it. It's not one of those things where I just say I'm addicted. Like, people who are, like, addicted to chocolate? No. I am addicted to Doctor Who, and I need to, I, I just need to share it with you. In seminar today, I made a list! Two things seminar's good for, reading Harry Potter and making lists. I made a list of symptoms. This page, uh, there's a backside of symptoms of how I'm addicted to Doctor Who. And I'm just going to share some of them with you because it's a pressing problem, and I just, I don't know how to not share it with you. So let's go. First symptom, I tell everyone I know about it and why they should watch it. So he's the doctor and it travels around time in a little blue box. And I'm sure it annoys everyone because it just sounds so weird. It, I just don't know anymore. I'm always uh, listening for the TARDIS and sometimes I even think that I hear it. And that's when you know you really have issues is when you're hearing noises that don't really exist in real life. I have dreams about the doctor. Um, the other night I had a dream that I was like in this place and this little girl had a problem and he like showed up with a screwdriver and he was like, I'm gonna help you, but in a British accent because that's, the show's British. But by the way, if you've never heard of Doctor Who, it's a British show about time travel. You should just Google it. Google it right now. Maybe watch it if you want to. See, I have, oh, I drew this in Spanish the other day. You know, it's a TARDIS. It's a really terrible drawing of a TARDIS, but terrible for me means good. I never draw. But yesterday, I was like, ooh, let's Google pictures of the TARDIS. Ooh, let's draw it instead of watching The Incredibles in Spanish. Los Incredibles. That's what it is. Ugh. My sister and I aren't very far into the series. We're about season five. We haven't been watching it very long. And we just finished the episode where Rory is shot by the Homo Reptilia. Sorry if you haven't watched this kind of spoiler. Oh well. Yeah, he dies and then the crack gets him and then Amy forgets him and I went to sleep and I go to sleep and I think what's gonna happen to Rory because we haven't gotten to watch it yet because my sister works and stuff. Uh, it, I stress about it during school. I'm just like what's gonna happen? Is Amy ever gonna remember Rory? Ha! Huh? I've taken to looking up the Doctor Who tag on Tumblr and following every blog that has anything to do with it and so it's all over my dash and I'm like oh yeah oh yeah Doctor Who Matt Smith doing peace signs David Tennant looking good like always what's that Rose crying with the doctor on the other side of the wall oh reblog I draw smiley faces on every apple I see because of this darn show I do it on all of them now. We're learning about the world wars in, in world history, and I just can't help thinking the Daleks would have taken over the world if the Doctor wouldn't have stopped the Daleks from being with Britain. That was a long pause. <laughs> Along with that, whenever there's something happy that happens in history, I'm like, yep, the Doctor was responsible for that. Yep, that was, that was all him. I say, allons-y! Every chance I get. Look at my background. Look at my computer background. Look at it. Oh, don't look at the restart your computer, finish installing message. Look at, look at this. Don't look at the glare. I can't. I can't. I am sweating profusely because this is too much. Sometimes when people say things to me that I don't really understand, I just, there's a split second when I want to be like, explain, like the Daleks do. Sometimes I want to exterminate people too. It's a problem. Whenever I see a statue, I back away, I don't turn my back, and I do not blink. Because if you blink, You'll go back to the 1920s and have to marry the first person you met on a farm and then send your pictures to your friend Sally Sparrow and then it just all happens. It all happens. Okay. Whew. 
that's pretty much all my symptoms. There's probably more that I missed today writing this list. If you've never heard of this show, or you never watched it, obviously I'm having issues with it. And not the bad kind of issues, the the good issues, you know, those issues that people have where it's like when you're dating someone you're not really supposed to date but you think it's like a good issue, maybe. I've never felt that. I've never had a boyfriend. What am I talking about? If you've never heard of Doctor Who, you should definitely go Google it or something and watch it on Netflix because it's great and it's so great and it's so great and I hope you don't think I'm too insane. You probably do. But whatever. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you like my face and you think I'm funny or whatever. I don't really know what you think, but if you want to see more of me, click subscribe, because that's what that does. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you guys next time. Whee! It's a party. It's not. Bye! Ooh, end screen. What a delight. This is really fun. Um, click in the bottom right hand corner where it says this happened last week because it'll show you what happened last week. Who knew? Okay, now's the time where I show you a funny clip at the end of me trying to be funny. Uh, let's watch. Gonna go with this apple now after I peel it. Yeah, I'm that person.